हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सॉफ्टवेयर टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट येल एव यू फॉर पी सी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज एल एव यू फॉर पी सी वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू वॉट आर इट्स मिनिमम सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट एंड देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू गेट दिस this file and how you install on your system and how you configure to make the camera live and able to access all its features so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so let us start that what is yale view for pc basically yale view for pc is a software which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on pc this is software program for monitoring the cctv cameras on the computer screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet so main purpose of this software is to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras to take the snapshot of the video to control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color saturation etc you take up the backup prep you take a backup of the recorded videos and you adjust the video streaming according to the network bandwidth and control the quality of the video recording and many more so if you are discussing about this minimum system requirement then you should have at least windows 7 8 10 11 but i don't recommend windows 7 but it because this discontinued by microsoft and it's you can run on the mac os like catalina and high sierra uh, by using this app if you are discussing about its processor then you should have at least core i5 processor or equivalent processor in other companies and have and you and you should have at least 4 gb of ram and 50 gb of free space on your hard drive why is this is 50 gb because this software and solution don't take too much space but when you record the live view of the camera when you take a snapshot of the live view of the camera then for that you should have at least 50 gb of free space because moving pictures take space now let's move our particular part that how you get this file for that you should open chrome browser and any browser you can use any browser in my case i am using chrome just i open and search for yale view for pc and here you find the my favorite one just open the website and here you find for windows okay just click this and it, now we ha you have to wait for few second and now just click on this now file now we start downloading downloading to be finished now it is finished just click in show in folder option and now here is your downloaded file just right click on that on the downloaded file and click extract when you do this you get the folder name same as the file name just open the folder and here is your installer file or application file or .exe file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and now click i have read the agreed and install now now installation complete just click on experience now option here it asks for username and password so first thing you should register Just click on the register option. Please select your region, like India, and account like. Here I should create my account.
and just click on the get code option and just enter my code here and here I should create a password and click register I have read and click register and just go to the PC and here I should enter my registered email address Here I should enter my password and just click auto login when you click on the auto login you don't need to log in enter password again and again just click login click allow access just click accept So basically this is the interface of the software okay now what you should do firstly you should click any cam you have a four single four nine and sixteen channel view and here you should find device config option here you find add device option here you will find playback option the first thing you should do click on the add device and here you find the two thing the first thing is add by scanning device in LAN if your device and your PC both are connected to the same network means the same router then you should click on this like you can start search okay otherwise you should click if you want to add a remote location device then you should click add by serial number okay here it asks for a serial number so here you should enter a serial number and click on the add serial number there is the number you find on a sticker on a box or a sticker sticker on the camera and then you should enter the serial number and click add when you do this you get asked for a username and password you should enter that username and password please note that confuse it asks for username password that password will be of username and password of the camera okay you should enter that username and password and your device comes online so i don't have serial number right now so that's why i'm not able to access it once i have i will update it Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.